Hi friends, welcome to my Java tutorial. In this video, I'm going to talk about scanner. Now the scanner in Java, it is used to ask a user for an input. So whenever you want to ask a user for an input and that will be done inside the terminal, you have to use what is called a scanner. It is actually built in Java. So let's get started. So to use scanner, we have to type scanner first and automatically VS Code imports this for us. We have to actually import it and VS Code automatically does it for us. So after we write scanner, now we can call it anything. So we can like call it hello. But to make things simpler, I'm just going to call it scanner. And then you have to press equal. And this is the new keyword you're going to learn. It's called new. So let's type scanner. And over here, we're going to ask user for input. So we just type system dot in. This might be a bit hard to actually understand at first. But over time, you get very used to this. And just semicolon to end it. Okay. That's it. Now we can ask the scanner to actually ask for like an integer input and then we can store the integer input or like we can ask it to, to have a, like a string input and then we can store it. Now we can ask the scanner to actually be ready. If you want to type like string, then you can, then you can ask the scanner, hey scanner, I want to type a string. If if you want to type an integer, you can tell the scanner, hey scanner, I want to type an integer. So let me just show you how it's done. If you want to type an integer inside the terminal, you have to press scanner. This is the variable name. It's supposed to be the same as this, the one highlighted in green. And then since we're typing an integer input, we have to press dot next int so this is for integer inputs if you want to actually input a string what you do is just press next line that's for string but let's do for integer inputs first so i'm going to store that integer input inside a variable so i'm going to call the variable as like sandeep and i'm going to store the integer input inside sandeep I'm just going to print it out. So if I run it, I have to type something you see. So let's just type 55. And then it says input is 55, which is quite cool. Now to make things look more nicer, I can print out enter a number so what it's going to do it's going to ask me to enter a number and let's just say i put 67 press enter and it says input is 67 so that's quite cool now i'm going to combine some of the things that you have learned inside my previous video like the while loop and the if statement I'm going to make this kind of game, but it's going to ask you to guess for a lucky number. So I'm going to initialize a number at first, and you have to guess that number. And until you guess a number, then only the loop will break. So let me show you how I'm thinking of doing it. So I'm going to make a variable. Let's call it lucky num. Okay, what's my lucky number? I'm going to put my lucky number as five. And then I'll just make an infinite loop. And basically, I'm going to ask the scanner for an input. And I'm going to store it inside the variable Sandeep. And if the number that you inputted is not equal to the lucky num, I'll just print out try again and only if it is equal 
then we'll then we'll say well done and we'll break the loop and to make things nicer I'm, I'm just going to say at the start to enter a number and if I run this it's going to ask me to enter a number so let's just say I put 67 let's say try again 45 33 and only when I press 5, it will say well done and it will break the loop. We can also make this game a bit different. So let's say if your input that you have typed inside the terminal is like lower than the lucky number, it will ask you to go higher. And if it's higher, it will ask you to go lower. And then only when you get the correct number, it will break the while loop. So let's try that. So over here, I'll just say if Sandeep is more than the lucky number so that means the number that you've inputted is actually more than the true lucky number it'll tell you to go lower and then i'll just copy this So now, if the number that you have actually inputted is actually less than the lucky number, it'll tell you to go higher. And else, I'll just print out, well done. and a break okay i forgot to delete this break statement so i'll just do that and just save it and run it enter a number so let's just input 67 we'll say go lower then let's say let's say we input four we'll say go higher input six go lower so then the number will be five let's press five we'll say well done and we'll break the while loop Okay, that's it for this video. I hope you're finding this playlist helpful. Just let me know down in the comments any feedback or anything. And if this video is helpful, please like and subscribe my channel. Thank you. Goodbye.